Hi guys, it's Colby. So today I have another makeup video for you and this is basically gonna be like a chit chat get ready with me slash testing out new products. So basically I tested out a bunch of new products that I got for Christmas and told you how I feel about them and a lot of them are on my face right now. So if you wanna see how I got this look and what products I use and how they work, then keep watching. Okay, now let's get started. Okay, so I've already cleansed and moisturized my face and my skin isn't too dry right now, but I have fake tan on, so that's why I look a little tanner. So hopefully my foundation will match me, but I'm gonna start out with primer. Okay, so I got two new primers. I got the L'Oreal Magic Lumi Light Infusing Primer. So this one I'm so excited to try because since I have, I usually have dry skin, like I want to get like that like radiant look. So that's why I wanted these. I actually got two of these. And then I have the Stila One Step Correct Skin Tone Correcting and Brightening Primer. And I also need this because usually when I don't have tan on, I'm really pale and my cheeks are always so red. You can even see my cheeks getting red right now. They're always red, I, I always have so much discoloration in my face. So I wanted to buy this primer because I wanted to see if I can correct my skin tone. So I think that I'm gonna use the Stila primer because this is like a luminous primer um, and I'm gonna use a luminous foundation so I don't want like two luminous products, you know? I don't wanna overdo it. So I'm just gonna use the Stila One Step Correct as my primer. Oh, it's like rainbow. It's all different colors. Oh, <laughs> obviously. Ooh, I like this. This is really smooth. Look, it isn't like too thick. It does make my face feel tacky after I apply it. So that's good. Maybe my foundation will stick better. So that is my primer. Okay. Now for my foundation, I am so excited for this because I got a new foundation. It's not really a foundation, but it's something that I've wanted for a while. And like I said, I have dry skin, so I wanted to try this out. So I got the It Cosmetics CC Scream <laughs> Cream and the Illumination. So I'm so excited and I'm pretty sure this has like a, like, like a sheen to it. So like, I hope that my face isn't too glittery when I use this. I hope it's just kind of like looks natural. Oh yeah, I got the shade medium. So I told myself that I'm not gonna be t um, pale all winter. So I bought a fake tan and that's why I got the shade medium because I figured I'm gonna be tan. So I needed like a darker color than my skin tone. All right. So since this is a CC cream, I'm pretty sure you're supposed to use your hands, but I'm just gonna use a beauty blender just because I, I always use beauty blenders for my foundation. I feel like if I use my hands for this, it would just like rub off my dry skin or something, I don't know. Oh my God, I actually love this. my god i have never ever used a foundation that actually looks like this ever i mean i guess it is it might be because it's a cc cream but honestly this like the texture of it like look at that it just looks like airbrushed i'm just like in shock right now because this literally never happens to me because i have like wicked dry and textured skin so literally, even when I put foundation on, you can see like the texture, you can see dryness, like it gets wicked patchy, like it's honestly disgusting. So that is why I'm so like shocked that this foundation, oh, like look at that. The thing with this is that this like almost matches perfectly with my fake tan. So that means that I cannot use this foundation um, when I don't have tanner on because it will literally, I'll look way, way too dark and probably orange. So I'm going to use this while I have my fake tan on. And I honestly plan to like constantly have a fake tan all throughout winter 
because I hate being pale. Even if you're pale and you buy a darker foundation, it doesn't always like look as good as it would if you had a tan and then still use that foundation. Like, like even if you're pale and you like buy a darker foundation, it doesn't look as good as it would if you actually did have a tan and then put like the tan foundation over the tan. I just think it looks so much better than like being wicked pale and then buying like a dark foundation like this and putting it on. I, I just like the look of a fake tan even if it's under foundation. I'm not, you know, the type to wear makeup every day. I don't honestly, I don't even wear makeup like every week, like once a week. I don't even wear makeup once a week. I honestly rarely put on makeup, but honestly, now that I have this foundation, look at the way this makes my skin look. This never happens because I have wicked dry skin, like gross dry skin. This foundation or the CC cream, whatever, honestly made me feel so much better about my skin. Like it's just smooth. All right, I'm done with foundation, but honestly, if you have dry skin, or even if you don't, buy this. The It Cosmetics Your Skin But Better CC Cream Illumination. This is amazing and it will save your life. This is also my first time testing it out, so I'm honestly, I'm so happy with it. And I'm definitely gonna be wearing makeup more often because now I have this. Okay, next I have my concealer. I'm using my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in the shade Vanilla. And I'm just gonna highlight my under eyes and then the center points of my face. So I'm gonna do the center points of my face first and I'm gonna leave my under eyes to blend out for last because I am gonna bake and I'm so excited. This is gonna sound so weird to you probably, but I have never baked and I've never owned translucent powder until now. Laura Mercier. This, is, this has been so popular for probably like a year now and I still have yet to try it. Honestly, the thing with concealer is that I have under eye circles. Oh my, really dark under eyes sometimes, but the thing that is more problematic for me is that I just have like bags like you can just see the bag even though there's no coloration to it it's literally just bag and I honestly don't know how to get rid of it but I did I bought the Kiehl's eye cream treatment and I actually use this I put this on right before I started my makeup I'm gonna start using this every day along with my moisturizer like on top on top of it and I'm gonna see if this like makes any difference. I mean, hopefully it does because I also, my fine lines under my eyes are so bad and that's why I'm gonna try baking. Okay, so I honestly am like scared to do this cause I've never done it before. No matter what I do, even if I color correct my under eyes, there's still gonna be like that puffiness to it. And I've read so many things on how to get rid of it, like cold spoons and like putting cucumbers over your eyes. But I honestly don't think that that's gonna work for me. And yeah, I probably should try it first before I say that, but it's not gonna work. I'm so excited. Brand new. Still has the plastic thing on it and everything. I'm gonna bake. Bounce this on my under eyes one more time to get rid of the creasing under there. And then I'm gonna bake. Actually, you know what? I'm not gonna bake because I don't know how to do that. So what I am gonna do is just press it into my under eyes and like it'll like obviously like melt into your skin you know uh hopefully that will fix my creasing and the same thing with this eye i'm just gonna bounce it into my skin to hopefully get rid of my lines my fine lines and also um set it in place so my concealer doesn't move and I'm so, oh wait, what am I doing? <gasps> oh. Pressed in the powder under my eyes, but now I'm gonna kind of set like the other parts of my face, you know? I'm gonna use the Laura Mercier powder to set the rest of my face as well, but I'm gonna use a brush to just 
lightly dusted on so it doesn't look too cakey. And look at these brushes. I got this set of Morphe brushes and I can't wait to use it. What these brushes are for? Oh, I'm assuming this would be good to contour with, right? Yeah, okay. I'm gonna take the same Laura Mercier translucent powder and I'm gonna use that to also set the rest of my face. Just lightly dust it on my face because like I said like a million times, I have dry skin. I don't want the powder to look cakey or anything. So I'm just gonna get this into the brush. I'm gonna tap it off and I'm kinda just gonna, oh. You know what? Whatever, it'll be fine. I'm just gonna dust this on. Yeah, definitely the first time I use way too much, but you know, what can you do? The thing with this is that, guys, this is amazing. All this makeup, like the foundation, the primer, like this powder is literally a game changer in my makeup. Like my face looks so smooth. This never happens to me. Usually my foundation alone will make me look wicked cakey. And then when I put powder on top of it, it literally is 10 times worse, but this is on a whole nother level. My face looks so smooth. My skin looks so good right now, like honestly. Reason that like I never really wear makeup is one, because I'm lazy. Two, I don't have enough time. But the most important reason is because my face is so dry that it literally, I like even b before I put any powders on, even if I just put liquids on, like for one layer of foundation, my face will already look textured and dry. And that's why I never wear foundation because like my, face always looks cakey or dry and just patchy and it's honestly disgusting so now that i have these new products and my face is looking like this i'm gonna have to start wearing foundation more often and just makeup in general because i honestly don't wear anything ever i'm gonna bronze now so i'm gonna use this brush another one of the morphe brushes that i got and i'm using my hula by benefit i'm just gonna lightly dust that and then carve out my cheekbones and this is like a angled brush so it's good for you know contouring and bronzing i have this issue where whenever i'm bronzing my face i always tend to overdo it just a little bit but i'm so happy though because i just got a new vanity and like a new like hollywood mirror with the lights and i'm so happy because this is literally gonna give me such good lighting. Like this is like the lighting that I'm using for this video right now. And I'm so happy because even, even like besides like filming videos, I was in doing my makeup on like camera. Um, even when I'm doing like makeup or even getting ready, like just doing my hair, I have the worst lighting in my room. So this is, I'm so happy about this because now I actually have good lighting and I'll know if my foundation looks bad or if something on my face looks bad. Lighting in my room sucks. So yeah, now I have this light and hopefully my makeup might look better. Yeah, see, like I said, I tend to overdo it a little. Uh, I get a little carried away. See, this always happens. But yeah, I'm just bronzing my neck, my cheekbones and around my forehead to make my face look smaller. Oh, I forgot. Yeah, down my nose gonna contour on the sides of my nose to hopefully give it like a smaller look because if you like the closer you put like your contour or whatever um the smaller your nose is gonna look so I, t I like to put it like really close to the middle and on the tip to make give that like my nose a little definition uh, just a little more done so now like i said i'm taking the physician's formula butter bronzer and this is so pigmented, like this is drugstore, but honestly, if you use this, like you literally like one tap and like your face is bronze, like I swear to God. But I'm using this other brush from Morphe, I don't know, this big brush thing. And I'm gonna just use this to add a little extra color to, you know, my face. People that I know like put bronzer like on their whole face and like, I just don't understand how that even works because like, if I did that, my whole face would just be brown. Okay, and I'm done with my bronzing. Okay, I swear to God, like, what is that? Is that like a bald spot? 
whatever. Now that I'm done bronzing, I am going to move on. What do I do next? Um, eyes. Oh, I'm so excited about this too. I got a new Urban Decay setting spray because I ran out of mine and I've been having to use like this Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water for my setting spray. And now I have my Urban Decay back. So I'm so excited about that. Speaking of this, I'm actually just gonna spray my face before I do my eyes just to set, you know, all the powder and stuff down before I get my mascara on. I haven't done my makeup in so long. I honestly don't remember the last time I did my makeup. And my chair keeps sliding all over the place. But yeah, I'm testing this out too. Oh my God. <laughs> so now I'm gonna go in and curl my eyelashes to prep for my mascara. And also one thing you guys should know is I don't do my eyebrows. And that's probably gonna sound like shocking to some people because I feel like everyone does their eyebrows, literally everyone. And I have never had my, I've never done my eyebrows, like filled in my eyebrows ever. And I've actually had them filled in once. Like I had like eyebrow stuff in my eyes, in my, in my eyebrows like one time. And that was only because I was doing a photo shoot. And so the makeup artist like filled in my eyebrows for me, but I have never done it on my own. And honestly, I don't want to because first of all, it's gonna look bad. Second of all, it's gonna look bad. And another thing that I don't do either is eyeshadow. I honestly like, I, for prom last year for my school, I um I had a fake tan obviously like I got a spray tan and so literally I was tan already so I was like all right I don't need foundation because like honestly I have like clear skin like not to like you know be annoying or whatever but like I do like have like clear skin and so like I don't really need to like use foundation you know so I was like all right like honestly I'm not paying to get my makeup done and because like first of all i don't want someone else like working on my face because i don't know what they're gonna do i don't know how they do things and especially if it's like right before a big event because like then like if i get it done then there's just no going back like you know so i basically did my own makeup for prom but the only thing i did since i didn't wear foundation is i literally put on fake eyelashes I used bronzer, highlighter, and that's it. Oh, my point of that story was that um, I literally, like, didn't even wear eyeshadow to prom either. And, like, it's not like it looked bad. Like, I just like to be, like, natural, but, like, still, like, you know, look presentable. But, um, yeah, basically, um, all I did is I took, like, some of my bronzer and I put it on there and then I put, like, some, like, highlighter right on the lid of, like, my gold highlighter and that's literally all I did. People literally were like, oh my god, Colby, you're not wearing makeup to prom? And I'm like, no, because why would I? Because I don't need to. Like, you're not getting your makeup done. Like, first of all, no. Second of all, no. Third of all, I don't have to and I don't want to. Now I'm going to go into, what do I have left? Highlight? Yes. So I got a new fan brush, like I showed you before. I kept it in this thing because I didn't want to like ruin it. And so I'm gonna use my favorite highlighter of all time. The Ofra highlighter in Rodeo Drive and like this gold. I haven't used a fan brush for my highlighter in probably like a year. Like I literally have been using like this Hold on. I've really been using like this brush, like this, this small brush for my highlight. So I haven't used a fan brush in probably like ever. I feel like the thing with highlighter or fan brushes is that like um, they're not that dense. So like you see, like nothing really came off. But like this highlight is so pigmented. Like if I were to use my other brush, like it would just be like a line of highlight. And that's how pigmented this is. But I think it's just a brush because it's really like... Not dense at all. And then I'm gonna bring it up here and onto my eyebrow, brow bone, whatever it's called. Okay, now down the nose and on the tip of my nose. 
and on top of my lip. Ew, that's gross. Just got like stuck in my chapstick. Now, I'm basically done, but actually, no, just let me do this first. Spraying my face one more time. Foundation is literally just like flawless. Like I know that sounds like, you know, cheesy to say because that's what everyone says. But like actually this gives you such like a, it's just like smooth. Like it just like doesn't even look like, I don't know. It just looks good. Like honestly, if you have dry skin or even if you don't buy this foundation because it's literally just like, or if you have textured skin, it literally is just smooth. Like it's just like a clean slate. I'm happy that I used the primer that I did because like foundation on top of the primer and on top of the translucent powder, like just everything like mixed together looks so good. And this is probably the combination I'm gonna start using from now on whenever I choose to wear makeup and actually wake up in the morning to put makeup on. I have chapstick on right now and I never wear lip gloss ever. I'm not like the type of person to wear lip gloss, but I've wanted this for so long. And it's the Too Faced Lip Injection Extreme. And I'm so excited. So I don't honestly, I know that it's supposed to make your lips look like more plump, but I don't know if it's supposed to make them more plump like in the long run or only when you're wearing it. So, but whatever, let's just test it. Ooh, smells good. All right. Do I look better? Probably not, but I'm gonna keep on using it and I'm gonna, I'm gonna look up too and see if it is supposed to make your lips like more plump, like in the long run, not just when it's on. So, oh my God, am I done? I'm done with my makeup, but let me just tell you something. If you're, whoa, if you're looking for a new foundation or a CC cream, like honestly, this CC cream by A Cosmetics will literally change your life, especially if you have dry skin or if you have textured skin. And honestly, like if you're looking for like light coverage, like this isn't even like, I mean, obviously it is light coverage cause you can still see my skin. Oh my God, why is this burning my lips? Um, my lips are burning. Is that supposed to happen? Oh, they're actually burning. Maybe they're getting bigger. Okay, whatever. They hurt, but that's okay. But basically, if you want a new foundation or if you're looking for a more like light coverage foundation or CC cream, get this. Like seriously, It Cosmetics CC cream illumination. It will literally change your life. And this is the perfect match to my fake tan too. And... I'm gonna be wearing this so often. Like honestly, I've never been one to wear makeup a lot. And it's honestly a very rare occasion if you see me in makeup. I've always just been like so natural, like honestly to school and stuff, I don't even wear mascara. Like I go bare face completely 100%. Like I don't even, it's, I'm not like the type of person to be like, oh, like I'll just put on mascara. Like I don't even do that. I literally just bare face all the time and like, I guess that's a good thing because like, you know, I'm comfortable in my own skin. But the only reason I really do makeup is because I have a lot of discoloration on my face. And so like, I'll sometimes put makeup on to like cancel out the discoloration and to like get coverage over my face. But honestly, mm -mm. it's not for me, especially every single day, but I love doing makeup. And honestly, like the one thing I love about makeup is literally just doing it, like putting it on makeup. I love it. So I've never had a foundation to look this good on my skin. Like so smooth, there's no fine lines. Like it's literally just a blank canvas. Like it looks like a blank canvas under this foundation. So I love it. And the new primer I got, the Stila One Step Correct, this is also very good. Like it feels, it's really thin so it doesn't like you know clog up your pores and like it's not really thick on your skin and it does get tacky right after you apply it so that's good because it means your foundation is sticking to it i love the new morphe brushes i got what else did i use oh yeah my all-nighter spray love it laura mercier translucent powder i get it i understand the hype about it i understand now because that is amazing like i actually never thought 
that a powder wouldn't make me look cakey. Like, it's just, it's so, like, fine, and it's good for under your eyes. Like, I mean, you can still see my bags a little, but it brightened up my under eyes. And also, like, it's so fine that you can just dust it over your face, and it still will set your foundation and makeup in place, but it won't look cakey. Like, it won't look like you just packed on a bunch of powder. Even if you do bake and, like, push it, like, if you bounce the powder into your skin and don't just brush it away, like, it still doesn't look... Like, you just packed a bunch of foundation on it. Like, you know, like, the warmth from your face, like, makes it, like, soak into your skin. So, with the Lip Injection Extreme, my lips hurt really bad right now. And I don't know if that's because, like, it's working, making my lips more plump, or if it's not a good thing. But it hurts. Mm-hmm. Also, in case you were wondering, I literally, I'm, I'm obsessed with being tan. I love being tan, putting on fake tan. I love it because then honestly, I feel like if you have a fake tan or if you are tan, the foundation you put over it is gonna look 10 times better as if you were better than if you were pale. Like I just, being tan, you just look so much better. That's just my opinion, but I think it's a fact actually. I think it's fact. In case you were wondering, since winter's coming up, I bought a fake tan and this little mitt that comes with it. So in case you were wondering what tan I have on, it is the Saint Tropez Self Tan in Dark. And this is the bronzing mousse. So <laughs> not like, it's not a lotion and it's not like a spray on, like it's actual, like it's foam. So like it honestly, it applies so much better than any other type of self tan like the foam is so much better and then you have this mitt and it it makes your like it just blends like everything together like if you use your hands you're probably gonna have like streak marks you know like on your arm like if you rub it in you might have streak marks but like this it like it blends everything together and like it doesn't leave you with streaks or any blotchiness like it this is perfect so in case you were wondering this is what I use for my self tan. I'm done with my makeup. I hope you enjoyed this video. And oh, also, I'm wicked excited because after this video is uploaded, I'm getting eyelash extensions. So in my next video, I'm gonna have eyelash extensions and I can't wait and for you guys to see them because I'm so excited because I literally, my eyelashes, like I have mascara on and they're just like non-existent still. So I can't wait to get eyelash extensions because I'm getting like a full set. So hopefully my eyes look better. That's all for this video. So the next time you see me, I'll have long eyelashes and still a fake tan because I promised myself I won't be pale all winter. So I'm gonna have to keep buying fake tan. But that is all for this video. So if you liked, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.